In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My dear friends, today we pray for those who are dying at this very moment. This time we are praying, but there are people who are dying. Let us remember them. Let us pray for them for they can reconcile themselves to God, hallelujah, so that they can go peaceful. Brothers and sisters, this time will be for each of us. Let us pray for those who are suffering now, because when they reach there, they will pray for us. And the key of the prayer of today is Psalm 20. Five. May God bless you, my dear friends. Amo Marie Louise, Amo Mararongo. A prayer for guidance and protection. To you, O Lord, I offer my prayer. In you, my God, I trust. Save me from shame of defeat. Don't let my enemies gloat over me. Defeat, do, do, defeat does not come to choose who trust in you, but to those who are quick to rebel, rebel against you. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Make them known to me. Teach me to live according to your trust, truth to your truth, for you are my God who saves me. I always trust in you. Remember, O oh Lord, your kindness and constant love, which you have shown from long ago. Forgive the sins and errors of my youth. In your constant love and goodness, remember me, Lord. Because the Lord is righteous and good, he teaches the sinners the path they should follow. He leads the humble in the light way and teach them his, his will. With, with the faithfulness and love, he, read, he leads all who keep his covenant and obey his commands. Keep your promise, Lord, and forgive my sins for they are many. Those who have reverence for the Lord will, uh, will learn from Him the path they should follow. They will always be prosperous and their children will possess the land. The Lord is the friend of those who obey Him and he affirms his covenant with them. I took the Lord for help at all times, and he rescues me from danger. Turn to me, Lord, and be merciful to me, because I'm lonely and weak. Relieve me of my worries and save me from all my troubles. Consider my distress and suffering and forgive all my sins. 
see how many enemies I have, see how much they hate me. Protect me and save me, keep me from defeat. I come to you for safety. May my goodness and honesty preserve me because I trust in you. From all their troubles, O oh God, save your people Israel. Amen. Jesus, please, from all their trouble, save your people, Israel. Save those who are dying at this very time. Jesus, help them to reconciliate with you. I don't want them to die as sinners. Please, Jesus, forgive them their sins, for they can die peacefully. And when they reach, they will live in a very, a very good, good peace. They will be with you, Jesus, and you will give them peace. Jesus, you are my love, and I know nothing you can refuse when I ask for. That is why I pray for those who are suffering, those who are dying, and those who are assisting them because they all suffer, especially those who are assisting them. They are feeling sadness and pains. Jesus, with your mercy, give them peace, give them eternal rests. Jesus, I pray in your name to Father. Amen. My brothers and sisters, when we pray, we have to be confident and to trust in Jesus because he can't refuse to give us what we ask for, especially when it is good. For us, we pray for those who are suffering, who are dying. This is their time. When we can know or not know them, but they are there and when we pray jesus can save them at least he can save half of them as he can save all of them he can do that because of our prayer brothers and sisters don't neglect yourself and say even if i pray god can't answer God can't hear me. No, he will hear and he will do something according to your prayer and according to his will. My dear friends, this is the time of praying because we know people are suffering. People have problems. We have to assist them spiritually, spiritually. When we pray for someone, means we are assisting him or her unknowingly, but we do it spiritually, not physically. We can't go 
all over the world at this time physically but when we pray means we are going all over the world at the very moment at this very moment and helping those poor people those people are suffering those who are in need by assisting them with the prayer that is why that prayer from the bottom of the heart is a source of miracles Jesus told us whatever you will ask to my dad through me you will have it he will give it to you brothers and sisters that is why for me I pray to my father to God for those who are dying those who are in agony for they can have eternal life because eternal suffering hell is too 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 bad my brothers and sisters let us work for the kingdom of heaven and trust in Jesus because we have whatever we ask in his name. May God bless us, my dear friends. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.